is it easy for you to let go of the practice mentality of working on something or improving? I don't know. Let's say that is that backhand on the line and you can just go into that flow state where you're not really thinking. You can just execute and just play like naturally. Uh, do you ever yeah. slip back into a different mindset or do you not think about that stuff at all? Well, I think that comes over time. What I've realized is, yeah, great question. Um, <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got a good one. <laughs> Way before I lose it. Um, <laughs> I think it comes over time, and I think it comes being in those pressure situations, which are tournament plays. Like It is very hard to replicate a true match situation and feeling that same sort of pressure with something on the line. And so the more you can go into a match and actually commit and swing and do it over and over, whether you're making it or not, it's like long-term, it's going to be beneficial um, but that is something that you really just have to swallow and be like, okay, I may go out there and lose this match, but I could get better. Like, it's not something that you want to hear. Like you would love to be able to go out there and be like, okay, I'm going to do it and it's, I'm going to execute and it's going to go great. But there's the reality of it doesn't. That's exactly what, well, not exactly, but very similar to what Blaze said. I don't know, maybe Amy, I don't know if you've seen that episode, but Blaze Bicknell said Probably not. he was, <laughs> <laughs> Amy don't watch our stuff. No, I love it. <laughs> no, what Blaze say? He said. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Blaze said that he always knew that, I mean, he has a good kick serve on the ad side, kick out wide, inside and forehand. But he really found a shot on a, I think it was the a medal match, like for CAC, CAC medal match. Um, it was at a down match point. Maybe it was match point I think for it him. was nine, eight in the tie break up. Yeah, nine and up. Because he was down in the tie break, like. No, it must have been 10 9 or something. It was because he was down like 9 4, whatever. But he hit an kick out wide inside in forehand and then that's when he was like i have this shot every time now like and and it, whether he has it or not he believes he has it you know so now he doesn't have mm -hmm. to think about anything but he just does it you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it sounds very similar like you kind of have to put yourself in that position be willing to miss and then i mean hopefully it goes in and then you have more mm -hmm. belief I guess that's the question. Are you willing to try stuff? And, and I am willing to try things. And if it goes wrong, I will accept it. Okay. No, but. Because <laughs> I'm not hearing the answer. I feel like I'm doing like five different answers for one question. I still haven't nailed it. So I don't know what else what? I can do. She's gone at it from every single like? angle. Yeah. That was, yeah, I was trying to figure out, do you balance it or not in your head? Like Balance it? Okay, so. I'll just throw out something else that might be useful. I'm not Thank sure. You. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if this one answers we'll still, it. We'll see if this helps in any sense. But, like, practicing, I think there is a mindset. Uh, like, obviously, it's easier to make a mistake and let go, right? But in practicing, it's like, you, I think you can be thinking about the technical and the, like, okay, I want it to go. And, like, not that you're overthinking, but you're allowed to, like, process things and be like, okay, I'm making a lot of decisions versus when you get into a match you should almost just go on autopilot and be like, I know what I have and this is what I'm like, what's going to come out today. You know, there's no like, oh, like, should I maybe try to get my racket under the ball more? Like, th there's none of that. Like, it's, you know what you have and that's what you're going to use. Have you ever slipped into that mentality? During like matches? Match? Yeah. yeah, like for sure. If something's going wrong, the first thing you could think of is like, oh, my technique, this, my technique, that, oh, something that I've been working on. Uh, and you can get so caught up, but it's almost like you just have to go back and be like, like like muscle memory it's like okay i've done this a thousand times like i just need to just trust like myself faith have faith that you've done the work already and just exactly go and do it yeah like you know you can do it and it's just like these external things that are making your body like more tense or however you feel and it's just like okay if if this was a practice match or just practice in general it's like you know you can make that like eight out of ten times so it's like why why can't i do it now do you have any cues or anything that for you to go back or do you is it more like is it breathing is it a certain performance cue like a thought or something like if you ever get into that kind of mindset how to get back um breathing for sure that definitely calms me down and just kind of takes me to a zone of like okay like don't overthink it and just just play the ball um and one thing that i remember like repeating my to myself a lot this year was just like everything you want is like on the other side of fear you know so it's like anything that's like makes you scared and anxious is because you want it so much and like you know it's going to be difficult to overcome but like that's when the good stuff happens 